Yu Yu Hakusho. I'm finally about to talk to this one. I've actually been sort of waiting to do this, do this one. When I started about thinking about doing this video series, uh, ever since last year, I think two years ago, I had all I really wanted to start talking about this one because I actually re uh, finished this one uh, around like a year ago, I think. Yeah, a year ago. I think I said two years before, but I actually meant a year ago. And with that said, I'm going to try and keep this as, you know, as constructive as I can. I mean, I don't really do scripted videos, but I'll try to, you know, say only informative stuff. But, you know. To start off with, uh, my favorite character would have to be Hiei. I'm just sort of getting this out of the way to make it easier to edit. As far as why he's my favorite, well, one thing he uses is a sword, and I just think he's cool. I mean, I don't really have, like, a lot of criteria for favorite characters. It just depends on how cool they look or if, and, like, whatnot. When it comes to anime, that's the case. With video games, there's a little bit more to that, and, you know, I generally like the personality, too, so... Yeah. As far as how I got into the series, uh, I was just watching Adult Swim one day, and I actually watched the episode came. I was like, wow, this is cool. I'm gonna keep watching this, and I tried to keep watching it. Of course, this was younger when... a long time ago when... You know, I thought that watching stuff on Adult Swim was, you know, generally bad. Of course, now it's like I don't even care because, I mean, one, I'm 19, so I don't really have to worry about it. This was like back in elementary school, I think. I don't remember. It It was when Dragon Ball was still airing. That much I remember. But, yeah. And by Dragon Ball, I mean Dragon Ball Z. That's normally how I refer to Dragon Ball at this point. Um, and I watched it, and it was pretty interesting. Uh, got as far as I think the Suzaku stuff I think that's as far as I ever got because I think they, they sort of took a break to do like a season sort of thing later and then I was sleeping on the couch one day because I sort of got into this habit of sleeping on the couch on Fridays that was sort of like a Friday thing I remember on Toonami they showed no, like on TV they showed a trailer for Yu Yu Hakusho on Toonami and I remember when Toonami like came out, I was like, I yelled, awesome, and this was at night, too, I was happy, he's like, oh my god, that is awesome, I get to watch this thing without having to stay up late, that's a little ironic, once we learn more about the history of the show, which I'll go over in a minute, so I watched it, and, you know, I was, I also, it was also one of the first DVDs I ever bought, like, the Yu Hawk Show thing, it was the dark tournament thing, I didn't really know what was going on, I have a tendency to sort of skip ahead, a good bit, because I watched, like, you know, a little bit of the Dark Tournament, or, you know, we get closer, then I saw the Dark Tournament thing, and I remember when I watched the DVD, it was kind of funny, because, like, whoa, Yusuke, can you spirit gun twice now? I'm thinking, oh, that's awesome, he can do it whenever he wants, when, of course, it's not that case. He has, like, a certain amount to do, and he sh sh looks at his fingers by doing it. I think that's kind of cool. And, of course, by the end of the series, he can shoot as many times as he wants. Um, and, I saw Jen, the Dark Tournament thing. I compared it to Dragon Ball Z a lot because this is a bit of an action show, even though it's mainly a paranormal kind of thing. Cause it does have to do with ghosts. It's it does have a lot of action. I remember, holy crap, he's in the. It's like I saw Yusuke kind of jump to the uh, the edge of the audience. How like he when Jen was fighting him, doing his tornado fist. And I thought, wait a second, that's against the rules, isn't it? Oh wait, no, it's not. This is Yu Yu Hakusho. Where like they are only they have like it's kind of funny. They have like a they have like a uh, amount, like a ten minute, ten second time left to get back in the ring, and it's like, you know, no one's gonna, no one's going to, no one who, no one who's fully able to get up and walk is going to fall for that. I prefer it in Dragon Ball Z where getting out of the ring is like a knockout, like you, you lose the match if you get knocked out of the ring. But you know, that's you know the thing. And later I would watch, you know, VHS tape of, you know, the whole Sensui thing. That's sort of beside the point. I didn't notice too much different from the dubs. I did notice that one thing, and, and I'm, I'm uh, the edited dubs, because, you know, obviously they were doing an uncut and edited thing like they were doing with Dragon Ball Z, except only difference is they didn't swear. They didn't do the swearing in Dragon Ball Z, which they did for Dragon Ball Kai. Um... Uh, one thing I noticed different from the edited version, the uncut version, I mean, obviously they took out the blood, and I think they they took out some bad scenes like Yusuke spanking himself or something to, like, to, like, uh, I don't know, uh, piss off the opponent, like, or any blood thing. Um, one thing they noticed, like, when Yusuke was fighting, uh, 
the guy who'd eat kids' souls. He's like, wait, if I shoot him in the eye, he'll be blind. Wait, he has two eyes. Damn it! And, you know, in the dub version, he said, wait, if I shoot him in the eye, he'll be blind. Wait, he has two eyes. Urgh! You know, that kind of thing. And then there's another thing where Budajiri, the fat guy who's, like, rooting for Jin, uh, like, he's commenting about Yusuke. He says, oh, he can stand upside down and put his thumb up his ass for all I care. He's not going to win. When in the uh, an edited version, he's like, Oh, he can stand upside down and stick his thumb up his nose for all I care. He's not going to win. And they also took out the scene where Tagore, like, flicks him with his middle finger. Like, just barely touches him, then his head, and, like, it goes... And, you know, that sort of thing. Pretty, pretty interesting. I don't really care that much about it. But uh, one thing I did have to notice was uh, there was so much violence. I mean, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Yu Yu Hakusho was more violent than Berserk. And that's saying something. The, the anime of Yu Yu Hakusho was more violent than the TV anime of Berserk. Yes, I've seen the stuff from the movie. Like a few stuff from the movie where like he shows guts cutting people in half and it shows the bodies flying around. Uh, this is daring because one of the show Blood and Two, you know, other stuff. One thing in particular that sort of made me a little queasy was when Tagoro was, uh... I know I'm talking about stuff that sort of happens later in the story, but right now I'm just talking about, you know, points in the story and, like, certain things. One thing that I remember that kind of made me queasy was a scene where Tagoro was trying to kill Genkai, and, like, he grabbed, like, her shoulder and, like, started pinching it, and then, like, she kind of smacked him away, and, like, she was bleeding or something. He, he just pinched her. Like that when it's like that's kind of gross. He like tore his skin off. Kind of, kind of weird. Um, but you know, those are really the moments I truly remember. Let me go a little bit of continue with my history though. So I'm watching it on Toonami, and we got as far as uh, we got as far as like um, I think the. Uh, the stuff was yeah we got as far as uh, the the uh, fi final the uh, big fight with uh, Sensui and Yusuke, where uh, it was like right before like he said Yusuke is like oh bring out your true form bring out Shinobu and then it's like he closes I was like hello my name is Shinobu ba 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 and then that was like the last time I saw it. then they did this funny thing which I'll mention which I should mention beforehand is that one of the reasons why I was glad that Toonami was going to start airing a Yu Yu Hawk show was that I wouldn't have to stay up late to watch it. Because back then I wasn't used to staying up late. Of course, now I normally stay up to like a long time. And actually, as I'm recording this, it is currently 3 o'clock in the morning. But uh, anyway, what they did, this was like back when I was starting to get a little worse. I mean, I, this was after Dragon Ball Z was over. And I think GT was airing on Fridays, which in my opinion is dumb. But, uh, um... What what they did was, they took it off of Toonami in its entirety. They probably did that because it was getting a little hectic to dub to the dub, dub the same show twice, even if there wa were uh, slight differences in the dialogue, which is kind of funny because they're doing that with Kai. Of course, with Kai, they're not even releasing the home, the uh, edited version, which they did for Dragon Ball Z and the Yu Yu Hawks. I actually have one of the DVDs, and of course I own the entire thing on DVD now, but anyway, uh, they I guess they were doing the uncut version, and they showed the in, ran through the entire series really late at night, like at 2 o'clock, and I didn't notice for the longest time until one day, I was, you know, sleeping, or whatever, trying to sleep, and I noticed that there was Yu Yu Hawk show, and I was like, what? This is different. And I noticed a few things, but I was like, why are they on the beach? Where the fuck is Yusuke? And I remember Keiko was like, I was like looking at Keiko, and I was like, why is her hair long? Why is she wearing a different uniform? You know, I found that kind of weird. I found that, of course, then I learned, you know, she was, I figured, okay, she was in, like, high school or something, or college or whatever. Anyway. Um, then, you know, I listened, it's like, I turned up the volume, and I listened, it's like, she's like, I'm going to give up on you, Yusuke, but it's like, I'm done, I, I can't live, like, this stress life, then Yusuke pops up, and that was the end of the show. I could tell that it was the end, too. It was just some one of those things where, like, you can just tell that it was over. I'm thinking, what the fuck happened? What the shiznizzle happened? And I never really, uh... Learned about it. I was like, okay, whatever. And I mean... I, I'd, I'd gone through this whole, like... 
watching certain parts of the anime and not knowing what had happened. Like, with uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, um, um, like, you know, the whole Sensu thing's like, wait, Genkai's still alive? Because, of course, at the end, we learned that she dies. And then, of course, you know, all this shit happens. And whatever. But, uh, then we get this part where, like, you can just tell it's over. And I found that kind of weird. It's like, then, you know, I never saw the show. It wasn't until much later, and I had constantly kept talking about how, like, I wanted to finish it. Well, last year, I finally got a chance to, because I, you know, had some money, and I went to Best Buy, and I saw a Yeehawk show on there. It's like, I need to buy this. I need to buy this. And I told my friends, like, we're going to watch this. And we, my friend Transangel and I, or Nick, or whatever you want to call him, we watched the entire thing from start to finish in a summer's time. I think it even took an entire summer to watch it, all 180 episodes. It was, uh, it's that new season, this new, uh, four season thing, and where they just take, they just repackage, like, that little section DVD thing they were doing. And I also heard that they're releasing Yu Hawk Show on Blu ray. I don't know if they're doing anything extra. They probably, hopefully they will, and I don't know if that'll make me want to buy it, but, uh, you know, it's entirely up to them. Them being Funimation, which do a great job of the dub, by the way. By the way, um, uh, th- I, from what I heard in a commentary, uh, this was the first time uh, that uh, Funimation actually did an audition for their anime, which is probably why the dub was so much better. Because with Dragon Ball Z, although a lot of people dislike, a lot of hardcore fans dislike the dub, you got to understand Dragon. They were pressed for time with Dragon Ball Z, you know. With Yu Yu Hakusho, they had more time to really think about, okay, how do we want to do the script? How do we want to cast the voice actors? How, what kind of portrayal are we looking for? Da, 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 da. But all the voice actors do a great job. Like, the acting almost outshines the old Dragon Ball Z dub, which makes you wonder, you know, were they really trying with Dragon Ball Z? You're like, or could they have done a better job had they had the chance? And they've proved that with Dragon Ball Z Kai, in my opinion. They've proved that tremendously, in my opinion. And I was a fan of the dub too. In fact, they use a lot of the the uh, they use a lot of the um, the uh, Dragon Ball Z voice actors too. Like uh, Yusuke's voice actor Justin Cook also did Raditz and Dende, and uh, Christopher Sabat, who who does Kuwabara, also did um, Vegeta, uh, Piccolo, and Yamcha, among others. Um, uh, Hiei's voice actor Chuck Huber also did Android 17, and I don't know if he still does Android 17 for Kai. Um, uh, what's, oh yeah, uh, Kur- Kurama's voice actor John Bergmeier, who also, uh, also does Tien, and personally I think Kurama is voice acted and does, jo- John Bergmeier does a perfect job for Kurama. He he brings out his kindness and he sounds very soft spoken. I think he does I think he's superior to the Japanese version, which is hardly ever the case. And my problem with the Japanese Kurama is that it's a female. And I know what you guys are thinking, oh you're sexist. Well no, it's just that I feel like, you know, the kindness is too obvious. I feel like he does, I don't know. I feel like they should have just they could have gotten a man to do a voice. There are plenty of soft-spoken, kind-sounding Japanese voice actors. I think her... I believe uh, her name is Megumi Hayab- Hayabashi or something. Or Hayabishi or something. Uh, Yusuke's Japanese voice actor happens to be uh, Nozomu, Sus- Nozomu, Sus- Nozomu Susuki. I kind of stumbled on there. He uh, 